Colombia is now a success state. You look at Mexico today, all you read about it, the tens of, tens of thousands of deaths from the drug wars there as the government fights. What's unnoted is that the economy in Mexico is starting to grow, grew 5.5% in real terms last year. And Mexico, talking about money, issued a bond with a maturity of 100 years, $1 billion at a mere six and a quarter percent. So even when things look like a disaster, the entrepreneur sees and looks beneath the surface of things, things can happen positively. So keep that in mind as well when you look at the world today, uh, things, uh, looking for things that other people uh, can miss. And one final example of the globalization we have, and Greece has got to embrace this, take, I mentioned Apple, take the iPhone. When the iPhone comes to the United States, it comes from China where it was assembled. Cost of $178. Do you realize that $178 of parts in that iPhone, only six and a half dollars of parts are actually manufactured in China. The rest are assembled elsewhere because of these ever more sophisticated global supply chains, which Greece should certainly technology should be in the forefront of. So they come to China and assemble and then are sent to the rest of the world. Six and a half dollars from China. Parts come from Japan. That's why the disaster there earlier this year hit Apple so hard. A lot of sophisticated parts come from there. Germany, who would ever have thought that? Malaysia, Korea, and elsewhere. Put together, ten dollars of those parts come from the United States. Imagine. Parts manufactured in the States, sent to China, then comes back in the iPhone back to the United States. That's the kind of world we live in, global. So if you want inspiration, there are plenty of countries that have done things in various areas right. Israel is now the foremost technology country in the world next to the United States with a population of a mere 7 million. They are now a Silicon Valley for the US in terms of startups and new technologies. Why can't ultimately Greece do the same thing? You've got the culture, you've got the brains, all you need is the environment, and people will do amazing things. So leadership is having that sense of direction, the sense that life never goes in a straight direction, but also leadership thrives in an environment that allows it to thrive. So again, things like the flat tax are not just economics, it's also allowing an environment where leaders can rise up and where creativity can flourish, innovation can flourish in ways no bureaucrat could ever imagine.